This is the iPhone 7 Plus, the cream of Apple's iOS crop that doesn't just offer a big screen iPhone experience, but also hardware goodies like a dual rear camera. And this is the Pixel XL, the larger of Google's inaugural Pixel phones, yet featuring much of the same hardware as a smaller handset. We've already gone head-to-head -head between the 4.7-inch iPhone 7 and 5-inch Pixel, and now it's time for a phablet-on-phablet -phablet comparison. I'm Steven Shank with Phone Arena, taking a look at how the Apple iPhone 7 Plus measures up against the Google Pixel XL. When we looked at the iPhone 7 and the Pixel, we found two phones with a lot in common. They each may do things a little differently, but from battery life, to performance, to pricing and options, they were two handsets very much operating on the same page. Now as we turn our attention to the larger versions of these phones, will the story be more of the same, or are we finally going to see this hardware diverge a little bit more? Both phones sure look a lot like their smaller siblings and share a lot of the same styling. With Apple, that's no surprise, but this year's Pixel phones represent a nice, cohesive alternative to last year's Nexus 5X and 6P, two handsets that may have run the same pure Android software, but whose hardware clearly came from different manufacturers. Instead, the Pixel XL is basically just a scaled-up version of the Pixel. At least, it's taller and wider to accommodate the big 5.5-inch screen, but manages to keep its thickness at the same 8.5 millimeters. A similar tale is taking place over with the iPhone 7 Plus, though the size increase is a little more substantial here since we're starting with a smaller 4.7-inch model. And while Apple can't help but make the 7 Plus just a little bit thicker than the 7, we're talking a narrow fraction of a millimeter. Really, the big difference is the new dual rear camera, with correspondingly larger camera bump, both wider and thicker. But other than that, we're looking at a rehash of those smaller designs. And considering how much we liked about what Google and Apple did there, that's probably a good thing. Obviously, we're dealing with two phones with bigger screens, and while we saw a size disparity with the smaller models, these two both come in with 5.5-inch panels. Once again, though, Google pulls ahead with a higher res and, correspondingly, higher pixel density display with a Quad HD 1440x2560 AMOLED screen to the iPhone 7 Plus's 1080x1920 LCD component. 5.5 inches is maybe the limit of where we feel comfortable with a 1080p resolution, but it still looks plenty sharp here, and unless you're putting your handset under the magnifying lens of a VR headset, resolution's not a big issue. What's more important is that, once again, Apple delivers a brighter screen than Google, making the iPhone 7 Plus a slightly more capable handset for outdoors usage, and the fact that it's waterproof, a feature the Pixel phones lack, doesn't hurt either. The iPhone 7 Plus and Pixel XL were in the same silicon as their pint-sized editions, the A10 Fusion and Qualcomm Snapdragon 821, respectively. And once again, we see the same kind of smooth, lag-free performance we'd only expect from two phones running a couple of the fastest chips on the market. But while the Pixel XL gets the same 4GB of RAM as the Pixel, the iPhone 7 Plus picks up an extra gig of memory above what the iPhone 7 offered, bringing its total to 3GB. That may help a bit with really serious multitasking, or maybe with all the extra data manipulation needed for the Plus's dual camera setup, but it's not like we were running into a lot of memory problems before. Consider this just the icing on the cake. Larger phones go hand-in-hand -hand with media consumption, whether you're watching videos on their big screens or enjoying extra-long music playlists thanks to their big batteries. So it's nice to see that both phones offer plenty of storage. Once again, that starts at 32 gigs. It'd be nice if they took a page from the playbooks of some other phablets and made that 64 gigs, but 32 will suffice for a lot of users. And there are always 128 gig options, or even 256 for the iPhone, if you need a little extra space. Sadly, there's no micro SD support for either. Both Android 7 Nougat and iOS 10 offer a lot of upgrades to like, from new messaging experiences to improved notifications to a host of other upgraded apps. But since we're checking out the impact that system software has on these two phones in particular, let's look at how well these platforms accommodate big screen handsets like these. One big plus for the Pixel XL is Nougat's split screen app mode. It worked just fine on the Pixel, but with the bigger, higher res screen here, the ability to interact with two apps side by side feels that much more useful. Apple, meanwhile, has decided to keep its own multi-app mode an iPad exclusive, and the smallest screen you're able to take advantage of it on is a 7.9-inch iPad mini. On the flip side, iOS does a slightly better job at encouraging one-handed operation, with the ability to easily pull things down to the bottom half of the screen. The best Android can manage is an on-screen keyboard that shrinks and slides over a little, but leaving other UI elements out of reach. Voice control is another important part of both these interfaces, with the Pixel XL helping to introduce the new Google Assistant, and the iPhone 7 Plus enjoying the latest upgrades to Siri, including enhanced third-party app support. Despite the promise of the Google Assistant, the polish on Siri really shows while using the service. Meanwhile, the Google Assistant stumbles on seemingly basic tasks that its predecessor Google Now had no problem with. 
The Pixel XL and iPhone 7 Plus both sound a lot like the Pixel and iPhone 7. There's no big audio upgrade in either, not like the move from mono on the Nexus 5X to stereo on the 6P. And once again, Apple manages to bring us the more impressive speakers. The Pixel XL is just as loud as the iPhone 7 Plus, but Apple's handset manages to sound a little less muddy, with crisp highs and distinct lows. Unfortunately, despite the larger size of the iPhone 7 Plus, Apple still hasn't found room for, or probably more accurately, actively decided to do without, its analog headphone jack. And while both phones are happy to connect to your Bluetooth headphones, those of us with a favorite wired pair can use the Pixel XL without having to carry around a separate adapter. A decided bonus for Google. Voice calls deliver no real surprises. These are two premium-priced flagship handsets, and while we certainly don't take anything for granted, nor would we expect a phone like either of these to drop the ball on something so utilitarian. And neither do. Calls sound fine on both phones. Bigger phones mean bigger batteries, and we've got two such components here. A 3450mAh battery on the Pixel XL, and a 2900mAh one on the iPhone 7 Plus. Both of those are big upgrades over what the smaller versions of these handsets offered, but that doesn't necessarily mean they each last longer. Instead, we found the Pixel XL getting just about as much screen on time as the Pixel, actually a little bit less. That seems counterintuitive, but more screen surface area and more pixels ended up offsetting the XL's larger battery, giving us a little under 7.5 hours usage. The iPhone 7 Plus, meanwhile, adds an hour and a half to the 7's runtime, giving us about 9 hours on a charge. The Pixel XL does pull ahead of the iPhone when it comes to recharging, though, taking under 2 hours, while the 7 Plus needs to charge for over 3. How about those cameras? The Pixel XL has the same 12.3 megapixel sensor as the smaller Pixel, but we already really liked what that could do, so the decision to keep it here makes plenty of sense. Apple, meanwhile, adds a telephoto camera to accompany the existing 12 megapixel wide-angle camera, combining data from the two to create the best possible pics, while also offering the option to take advantage of a two-time optical zoom. While that zoom effect is nice to have access to, and the dual camera can pull off some neat tricks like the new portrait mode with blurred background bokeh effect, we didn't notice a pronounced change in image quality compared to the iPhone 7. Images are very sharp on the iPhone 7 Plus, with natural looking colors that sometimes contrast with the extra saturated hues picked up by the Pixel XL and its impressive Auto HDR Plus mode. Which output you like better is going to be pretty subjective, and these are both really high performance cameras. When we asked you in a blind comparison which you preferred, Phone Arena readers overwhelmingly sided with the Pixel XL. Pricing starts at $770 for both handsets, with another $100 upgrading storage to 128 gigs. As with the smaller phones, the iPhone 7 Plus is available in a wider variety of color options, 5 to the Pixel XL's 3, and enjoys better carrier availability with the handset present in stores from all the major networks. The Pixel XL also has broad carrier support if you bring your own device, because in stores it's a Verizon exclusive. Once again, it's a close race, and comes down to what matters to you. The Pixel XL has a high-res screen, charges quick, and has a camera with a really pleasing output. The iPhone 7 Plus has a brighter display, longer-lasting battery, and puts its extra camera hardware to good use with optical zoom and that fun portrait mode. Hopefully, now that you've seen how these two heavyweights compare, you're better equipped to make that decision for yourself. I'm Steven Shank with Phone Arena. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more smartphone reviews on the way soon.